Hello, Lele. <laughs> okay. Hey, Lolas. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. <laughs> hit it. Yes, hit it. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Guys, if you think you got that bell click, double check. Make sure it says all when you click on it, okay? Because YouTube is known to unclick that for you and you'll think you're, you're on for notifications and you're not. All right, guys. I just wanted to pop on, show my girl Gigi. For those that may be new to my channel, you guys may not know who Gigi is, but Gigi is the Gianna Sculpt Sculpted by Kathy Romero Biscotti from Silicone Studios 2. <laughs> and painted and rooted by your girl. Me? <laughs> and I just, I honestly, I was just taking some pictures of her. So make sure you're following me on Instagram at Miss Serenity Smith Babies. Yes, on period. Uh, <laughs> So I was taking pictures of her and I was like, oh, let me pop on and show my Lola's my Gigi. Cause my Gigi was litty tonight. I can't believe she got in that little outfit, baby. And listen, baby, when your girl say she don't know how to dress, baby, <laughs> hey, baby, baby be putting on all types of stuff. They got nothing to do with one another. But baby, we gonna make it look like a bunch of Skittles up in this piece. And my girl is still cute. I love her in all her little colors. Okay, okay, okay. Let me show you her whole outfit so y'all know why I'm talking about her like this. Because, baby, I don't know if she got on mousse or... I don't know what them is. Let me move this stuff out of here for y'all. be like, oh, she junky. I just crib. Because, baby. Because, baby. I be... <laughs> I be changing out some of the babies. And I be just piling up stuff in my little crib for photos i be having to take photos real quick and then i have to go through this room and just like take everything and just put it where it go it's just it's just a lot but don't worry it all gets straightened out eventually so i got my hairspray bottle okay i ain't worried about that being shown okay let me let me see let me see what y'all can see let me show y'all her little outfit look <laughs> Look at her little outfit. Girl, what is that? What is going on? Okay, she got on her little slippers pulled up over her little pants. Because her little pants come down right there. And then she got her, this little hat thing. Like, it's like a little headband type thingy. Um, It's a whole outfit that go with that. But, baby, I just put it on. Put it on her just because you guys know the drill. I ain't gonna even tell y'all. <laughs> Cause y'all already know what time it is. Um, so I just put that on her. And um, yeah, let me see if I can zoom in. So you guys can see her little curls is trying to pop. Baby, they're trying to be pop a locking. Let's see, baby. Let's let's see if we get some light up in here. Okay, all right, focus coming through. Okay, look at this. Yes, girl. All right, girl. All right, so I don't know. I'm gonna ask y'all a question, and I I ain't gonna be mad if y'all, however y'all answer it. But do you think that there's a chance that Gigi will be a forever baby for me? Do y'all think it's possible? Cause I'm kind of wondering if it's gonna be possible. Cause I feel like she could be, but y'all know I be selling these babies like <laughs> an unfit mother. But seriously, do y'all think so? Cause I, I have wanted to sell her and tried to sell her because that was my intentions when I bought the kit was to paint it for a baby to sell. But I just, every time I seen like I try to make an excuse or when somebody asks about her and stuff, I just cringe and I'll never make it easy. Like, you know, people like, oh, I just need a short little way. No, nope, I can't do a short little way. But I think deep down it's because I never really wanted to sell her. But I don't know. So what y'all think? Y'all think she might be one that stay? That's her little, look at her little belly. That's her little belly. Belly, belly. 
so yeah I don't know that's a that's my question to y'all is do y'all think she'll be one of the babies that end up sticking around because I do have a few of those if y'all don't believe me like I do I do have some babies that actually is in my collection and been in here for a while and ain't going nowhere. Um, whew, she got water in her ear from when I sprayed her hair. But her hair is dry now. So, it's pretty much dry. Oh, There's a few strands that seem like it's got a little dampness on it, but for the most part, her hair is dry. So, yeah. So, what happened? She was in the middle of my room in the little uh, rocker thing, the little glider. But Phoebe is in that spot now. I'm, oh my gosh, I'm so in love with Phoebe too right now. Like I'm really enjoying these two because they like good sizes and it's like fun to dress them and they both real super cuddly. So it's like having the best of both worlds. So, I like I said, I don't feel like, I, I feel like I want to like, finish getting her fully rooted and all that stuff but not to sell just to have a baby rooted for my collection for me personally so i don't know i just can't i don't know i i don't know i think she's gonna be a keeper so and i love her little kissy lips but she also do real good with pacifiers um now this is a modified pacifier because Apparently, I was giving it to a baby that needed it to be modified. She do not need a modified pacifier. But since, you know, she have uh, um, some yellow in her outfit, I had took some pictures with her with it in her mouth. And she, you know, see, when you want to make them like relax and not just be with their mouth open and you put a pacifier in that, they just really look so serene and sleepy oh my gosh i love it i love 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 listen baby this hobby i'm telling you like it it gives me such a rush like such a such a rush like a happy rush i'm like if anybody is in this hobby and you can't find no type of grab a hold or no type of happiness or peace you are one miserable individual and i feel sorry for you however i will not judge you i just hope and pray that you do find something that clicks and you could just experience it just i mean because once you once you find your 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 uh your circle and i'm big on that circle thing once you find people like-minded that you can share and you know talk about the hobby with or share pictures with um or talk about sculpts and stuff i just feel like you just you enjoy that part if you don't enjoy nothing else collecting sometimes can be challenging you know rather it's prices or finding the you know the perfect baby or the perfect artist to paint the baby or whatever or just availability like you sometimes you just you you ever like wanted a baby by a certain artist and but you want them to paint a specific specific sculpt and you keep missing every time they paint one that you really like it fall at a time where you don't have the money or you just bought a baby or whatever those things really happen so sometimes when people be like oh my god i wish i would have known you was finna sell this baby i just bought it i don't take that as a joke i believe them when they say that now some people if you say that every time for 20 years girl you lying but okay child ain't about it okay baby don't listen what you what you need not to do don't even message me no more talk about when you get ready to sell this baby don't do that because you you know you ain't gonna want it so don't worry about it and it's okay because i'm gonna still love you boo but yeah let's not bother with all that but yeah but a lot of times it ha it can happen where it's like you it's like um uh, what do they call it um passing ships like you just keep you going this way they going that way boom boom you get it so yeah so it that happens so you know like i said collecting can be hard it can be challenging 
Um, you know, for me, I'm learning because I next year I don't want to have to paint my own Lottie by uh, Laura Lee Eagles. I wanted somebody else to paint that doll for me, but a lot of people like I don't want to paint toddlers right now. Blah blah blah. blah. I get it. Um, my Natalie Glick baby, I don't really want to paint that baby myself. So, but it's kind of hard because I've been trying to find like other artists, you know. And listen, please don't use. <laughs> Don't use my comment section to promote anybody individual because it ain't cute. But if, but I'm just saying, because, you know, child, y'all be doing so much. But no, seriously. Um, but yeah, I just, <sighs> it's just, it seems like it's a little bit harder than what you think. Because you, I'm like, it's so many artists out here, so many people painting like black babies but what I'm actually looking for is like a needle in a haystack and the ones that I do like and I you know would like to have work I can't really afford it not for reborn um because now like I said a lot of the reborn artists are like charging four thousand dollars and up um so it's kind of crazy like literally you it's very hard for you to get a reborn less than two thousand dollars in the the on the level of where I would really want these particular sculpts to be painted. It's just not gonna happen. And then they bigger baby, so it's just not gonna happen. And I hate to paint it myself because I don't know that I'm on the level yet, and I'm not fishing for compliments. I'm just saying I don't know that I'm on that level of where I want to be to paint it and not only that even if I do get it right when I paint it my problem is that then I gotta find a rooter because I don't root vinyl so nature gonna be a challenge but it is what it is I'm gonna try to figure it out um but and I don't want to offend nobody because that's why I'm like please don't you know Cause people be like, uh, so and so and so, and I'm just like, eh, I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> but you, you know, I can't say that. You know, I can't be like, I can't, I can't even tell like, you know, when somebody uh message me or something like that, I can't be like, I don't like the artist's work. I can't say that because, because now that I paint is it comes across as unprofessional. So, yeah. So I just have to be like, oh, okay, I'll check them out. <laughs> Silly me, like like Hollo say, <laughs> silly me. But um, yeah. So anyway, that is it. I'm just rambling now, just talking. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. Oh my gosh. But yeah, don't forget, guys. Be honest with me. Do y'all think in another six months she gonna be on the chopping block? Do y'all think once she get her hair, I'm gonna be over it? Or do y'all think that it's a possibility? A strong possibility. <laughs> I need y'all to speak that for me. I think I really want to keep this one. What y'all think? Anyway, um, that is it. Uh, the because of holiday shipping and all that stuff, all the babies that have not left, unfortunately, will not leave. <laughs> but I only have one baby, and I'm not finished with him yet. So that's. Okay, so the mommy is not expecting him for the Christmas holiday anyway because I'm not finished with him. And even though he's a little tiny peanut, it's taking me a little while because I had a lot of other orders and things going on at the same time. Um, but he's getting there and then he'll probably go sh right out, you know, shortly after the holidays. Um, he'll be ready to go out once he get his painting and matting and rooting done. Um, but yeah, after that, I'm done offering babies. I'm not going to offer any bald because I don't want to have no time frames of when it need to be rooted. So, um, Christopher Robin, Logan, possibly next year will be available, but after, only after they're rooted. So if you got your eyes on those babies with hair because I know some of y'all are very funny y'all don't want a ball head to churn I get it um just be prepared and save up and 
if you like them once they get their hair, then hey, it might work out. So anyway, I hope you guys are being safe and enjoy your time. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye for now.